There are several software to allow us to write the Raspberry Pi OS on the SD card such as Win32 Disk Imager, Balena Etcher, and others. Around March last year, Raspberry Pi also launched its own Imager software. The interesting part, for the latest version 1.6, it comes with an advanced option that makes it easy for SSH setting. So how to use it? Let's try. Before that, Please like, share, subscribe, and press the bell to get the latest update from us. First, we need to download and install the Raspberry Pi Image software. Done install, open the software. I'm using a 32GB maker disk. The SD card already comes with Raspberry Pi OS. But no problem, we can write again. Connect it to the computer and I'm using a USB micro SD card writer. Select OS, I prefer to use a Raspberry Pi OS full. Then select SD card as storage. Press Ctrl Shift X to enter the advanced option. You can choose image customization options either for this session only or to always use. Tick set host name and write yours. Tick enable SSH and write your password. Tick Configuration Wi-Fi, write your SSID and password. Choose your Wi-Fi country. Tick Set Local Settings and choose your Time Zone and Keyboard Input. Click save and write. The writing process will take quite some time, so just let it be until complete. Ok done, remove the SD card, connect to the Raspberry Pi and turn it on. Wait a while for the Raspberry Pi to boot completely. You can remote SSH using PuTTY or Visual Studio Code. For example, I'm using VS Code. Connect to host. Add new SSH host. Write your host name. Connect. Continue. Enter your password. Ok, we have successfully connected to the Raspberry Pi. Open the terminal and try to write commands. Again, we have successfully remote the Raspberry Pi using SSH with minimal steps. We don't need to create files and put lines of code. So that's all for today. I'm Idris from Cytron Technologies. Good luck and thank you for watching. Assalamualaikum.